Hi, Greg Ruff here with another White Space Minute. Recently a lot, number of people have asked me about the White Space methodology and exactly how it relates to the spaces within, around, and between markets. In fact, I'd like to thank two good friends, Kevin Hartz of Eventbrite and Kyle Mishima, who made suggestions on how we might represent this better. Basically, in White Space strategy, there are three opportunity perspectives. One opportunity perspective is the opportunity for new market spaces within current markets. That is, pockets of unsatisfied needs that exist within your current markets where a change in technology, business model, or value chain could create a new market opportunity. The second perspective is those opportunities around markets. That is, places where you could expand your market by reaching out and changing some parameters that would actually bring these non-customers into your market. Thirdly, we've got the idea of opportunities between markets. And this is where Kyle and Kevin were tremendously helpful because it's kind of hard to visualize this idea that what you really have is multiple market planes. And in an example, we'll show you exactly what that means. But basically, you've got multiple market planes and space, white spaces between those markets that you can capture. So let's talk about them individually for a minute. Opportunities within markets occur when new value need is needed to expand current customer revenues. So if you can be the creator of that new value, you have the opportunity to capture these white spaces in your existing markets. And some examples of that is Cadence, who found that Design for Purpose was a real part of the EDA market, market that was needed, uh, Amazon with Amazon Prime, and Pandora in the music space all capturing spaces within markets where there were opportunities of un, uh, pockets of unsatisfied needs. The second one, opportunities around markets uh, where new value captures adjacent revenues. For instance, a change, <coughs> pardon me, a change in pricing or a change in delivery or a change in value chain or business model can create a whole new opportunity that suddenly brings these non-participants in the white spaces into your marketplace. Some examples of that are the iPod Shuffle which created a new low entry point for the iPod. Uh, Best Buy in-store pickup, which allows people to shop online and pick up so they get the immediate gratification of store pickup, along with the online ability to, to evaluate their purchase. And finally, Cadence, with their software as a services offering, brought new people into the EDA market who couldn't afford the prices of software or couldn't afford the total cost of ownership of running their own software. Last but not least, the most complex one, opportunities across markets. The best example here is the iPod, where if you think about it, the iPod not only captured the music market, but also the video market and the information market. And it did so by creating new value in the iPod itself, in the iTunes and the iTunes Store infra infrastructure or ecosystem, and in music by the track, which was a whole new business model. So those are three examples of opportunities within white spaces. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. You can contact us at www.whitespacestrategy.com or 415-202-7833.